Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. My name is Rob. And this time I think I got all the audio stuff sorted out, so shouldn't have any more problems with that. By now a lot of people have gotten their hands on Elden Ring, and that's what we're all playing. I got my copy over the weekend. It is very nice. I haven't had a chance to play it much, but it is very good. It's like Dark Souls and Breath of the Wild had a beautiful, beautiful little baby. And if you never played a game from Hidetaka Miyazaki, now is the time to get you a copy of Elden Ring. It's awesome. It might get you into the rest of the series. If you're not already a fan. Alright. <clears throat> I know a lot of people have been uploading gameplay footage of Elden Ring, but I started this Let's Play of Dark Souls 2 for the second time. I don't want to abandon it. I want to play this game to its completion. That includes DLCs and everything. So, I'm going to keep on pressing forward with this one. And I need to figure out which way I can go to progress. <clears throat> see. Up the spiral staircase. There was a red phantom there. I guess I hopped down from here. Okay. Oh yeah. I do want that. Crystal magic weapon and a fragrant branch of yore. Well, if you watched the last episode, last couple of episodes, maybe you definitely know what I'm going to be using that fragrant branch of yore for. Because I'm rhyming. <clears throat> but first, before I do that, there's an optional boss up here, the ancient dragon. We saw him last time. And because I have nothing better to do, I'm just going to walk up and punch him in his face and see if he wants to fight. Let's see here. See if I even stand a chance against him. Does he have any more dialogue? Nope. Nothing else to say. Okay. <clears throat> I want my Radiant Life Gems. Hang on. Uh, what else? Anything else? I don't want to waste divine blessings in this fight. The Mastodon Great Sword. Um, hmm. That'll probably do just fine for this fight. Okay. Hey, Mr. Dragon. Can I cut your tail off and get a fancy sword? He doesn't aggro immediately. There he goes. Whenever he does that, run toward his tail. Ow. <laughs> well, I got roasted. That was predictable. Hey, let me have iframes. Let me... Why can't I open the door? What the... Okay. The door was open, I thought. Get out of here. There we go. Just wouldn't play out the entire animation. Okay. I'm running back up these stairs. Like, Is that all you got? That all you got, Mr. Dragon? That was nothing. I can take you. I can take you and all your punk friends. 
I can't take all of them. <laughs> all right, let's try that again. Need ah. to manage my stamina. I can't remember what all he does. He stomps. Eh. When he jumps up in the air like that, he's going to breathe fire straight down, and you want to run towards his tail. Yes, like this. There we go. Yeah. Ow! His tail has a hitbox. Eh. Run towards the tail, but don't get hit by it. Pop a life gem here. Ah! Uh. And I want to say, I don't think I ever fought him in the original Dark Souls, but in the original Dark Souls 2, rather, but I want to say he was even stronger. Or harder to kill, or something. For Scholar of the First Sin, he's not too bad. I mean, as long as you know you can run towards the tail to get away from his flames, then it's not that bad. Just don't stay under the tail. There we go. Well, that foot was very heavy. Good gracious. Yo, Adrian, I'm going to take this sword, I'm going to try to kill this dragon. <laughs> run towards the tail, run towards the tail. Woo! Woo! Don't get hit by the tail. Cut his foot. Run towards the tail. Yeah. Whoop. Oh. We're just we're just relocating. All right. All right. All right. No. Don't step on me. I wonder if I need a faster weapon. I wonder how good the damage for the Red Rust Scimitar would be. Yep. But I'm a little afraid to try and weapon swap during this boss fight, because I don't know what he'll do. Alright, I'm doing for it. There we go. Got a fast, fast weapon that's, uh, seems like it's doing similar damage. That yeah, should be good. Oh, yeah, I like that. And I've got stamina left over. Alright, we got this.
What what you fixing to do? Oh, gracious, couldn't escape. We're gonna Estus because Estus is best. What the? No! Don't corner me. I want to say the last time I fought this boss, I was using a rapier. No! Ugh. I got greedy. Don't ever get greedy. I'm swinging at his tail, but I miss him. Greedy. Don't get greedy. Run towards the tail. about this boss music? It's pretty cool. It's pretty good as far as uh, Dark Souls 2 boss music goes. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? No! Oh, don't! Don't! Please! 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 I wish there was, uh, I wish that tail cuts were a thing in this game. Unfortunately, that's, I think, exclusive to Dark Souls 1. I really like that mechanic. Tail is hanging off the edge. I'm not sure what I'm going to do when he jumps. Okay. Going this way. Imagine if I could be uh, like Mario during this fight and just grab him by the tail and swing him and throw him off of the ledge. That would be fun. So we got Soul of a Giant. Not the Soul of a Dragon, but a Petrified Dragon Bone. So what would a dragon be doing with a giant soul? Well, you know, lore stuff and all that. That is the second soul of a giant I've gotten. Not um, not any kind of unique description on it or anything. It's just it's a soul of a giant. Got a lot of souls for it. And I'm fairly certain that all of the dragon bros out here now are going to be um, unhappy with me, to say the least. So I 
kind of just killed their boss. Hey, guys. Um. Yeah, like, I mean, y'all, y'all weren't. You know, like, he, he was just kind of. Y'all weren't real close to him or anything, right? Of course not. Huh, they're not aggroing on me. I'm very surprised that they're not. I thought that they did. Huh. Really? Okay. Well, whatever. So that was the ancient dragon. Not too terrible. Just gotta run for the tail and not get stepped on. Oops. Use the feather. <clears throat> the last few sips of my glass of whiskey and coke. I'm giving up alcohol for Lent. Lent starts tomorrow. Better enjoy it while I can because I won't have it for another 46 days. Let's see here. <clears throat> so really from here, I could go do the Giant's Memories. And then once I've done all of those, I should be able to beat the game, technically. There's just a matter of the, uh, whatchamacallit, the DLCs to do. I'm trying to think if I've gotten all the DLC keys, but while I'm pondering on that, let's go back to Majula and see if I can level up or something. Bearer of the curse, I will always be at your side. Until hope has fully withered. Well, aren't you a sweetie pie? Let's see. I wanted to raise intelligence and faith. Adaptability is already as high as I want it to be. Um, vitality? Mm, nah, not for now. Okay. Um, we'll do my faith up to 10 and then yeah that's that that's that's fine whatever can I upgrade my flask no okay so that's all to be done there now look at my character look how fly he's looking <clears throat> what about you? Do you sell anything new? You've been long away. Well. Hmm. What are you selling? A slab? Ten chunks. Three twinkling titanites. Uh, well, you know, we'll buy a slab. Because why not? Why would you not buy a slab? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Visit me again. Whenever you please. Okay, Dan. Alright, so... We'll just make that an episode of me fighting the ancient dragon. And in the meantime, I'm going to figure out where else exactly I can go and try to plan out the, uh, del bleh, the DLCs. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon with more Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin, and until then, y'all take care.